Welcome back, screw beast, to the 321 Screws Dirty Dozen. With your hosts, Case One, Big Shot Joe, Captain Bill. Well, here we are once again. Before we get started, how was everybody's Christmas? Mine was spectacular. How was yours? Spectacular. Both <laughs> family and food, presents. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Yeah, mine was good. We we spent a lot of time with family and um, my daughter. She just she had a really good time. She had so many presents. So many. Speaking of families, we just want to give a little shout out to one Cody Rhodes and her and his wife. Yes. Yes. Randy Rhodes. Randy, Randy, Randy Rhodes. Rhodes. And their sudden little baby bump. little announcement, yeah. Yep, a baby on the way. Very cool reveal that they had on the show with the package being delivered and open it up and it's the ornament. And uh, also, in the baby, uh, baby news world, John Moxley and Renee Young also yep. are expecting their first. Absolutely. So... Damn, some wrestling is having uh, babies, man. Some potential uh, future superstars, man. Yeah, yeah. We, we talk. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Second generation. You know, who you knows? got, uh, you know, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. You know, they just had their baby at yeah, the man. beginning of this month. Yeah. So. We're going to have another Becky Lynch. Who knows? And, uh, yeah. Could be. Could be. That's what they do. They just. Grow their grow new ones. Yep. So, boys, let's get down to the meat of the sandwich. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Which is called the Dirty Dozen. So, where <laughs> where's the list this time, oh, Joey? I ain't got this stole the list last time. I did. You and have it this time. And one no, day I, I made it. sure I kept it. You put it in the lockbox, safe and sound, away from Joey. That only requires Captain Bill's fingerprints. So, one and, day I'll and, chop and, his finger and, off and, and his it. retina. And, and his <laughs> retina. Yeah. Whatever's left of it. Bill. You got it? Oh, wait. They can see. I'm not really looking at anything, can't they? Damn. It's over here. There it is. The Dirty Dozen. Official list. The list of the dirty. That took way longer than it needed to. <laughs> well, no one cares about Joey's opinions. You know what? Screw you, Kyle. You going home? Screw you. I'm going home. There you go. Carl. Damn it, Kyle! Damn it, Kyle! All See, right. Let's send your application to... Start. Oh, you're staying? Yeah, I'm Definitely. staying. Let's start it off <laughs> with Brick Money Night Rock. Hey, 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 hey now, we're going to have a table match right here on the Dirty Dozen. He took the high road. All right. I just want to point out, Bill took the higher road. He's being respectful to the show. Yeah. For now. Let's get started. Put it down, Joey. Okay, we're done. For we're now. Gonna, we're look back in. Getting serious now. Serious for a minute. Let's start the Dirty Dozen. Dirty dozen. Let's do it. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. We're I'm gonna start not gonna off. let Joey ruin You're this. You're gonna show. get flare chopped at some point. I'm gonna start off with the WWE <laughs> Women's Tag Team Champions. Right. The return. Well, Charlotte returned at TLC, but this is her first night back on Raw. Yeah. And what's yeah. What, what? What are our thoughts of what's going to happen with the tag team champions here? Right. Go ahead, Bill. You go first. Yeah. You know, well. The tag team division had been one of the weak points in WWE, honestly. You know, yes. on the main shows. For, for, okay, wait. Were we talking women's. the women's? Well, you know, I mean, really. Raw women's, really. women's. If you want to get technical, we have been that's why, women's, so you're we're saying talking women's right, right now. now. Been pretty, I mean, I mean, think about it. They broke up the Iconics. They, you know, Which uh, to me made they, no they sense. They break up the Riot Squad. And they put them no together. No sense. So you know, Sonya Fire and Desire, Sonya Bill and Mandy Rose, you know, they had Fire their feuds and broke up. But so 
yeah, there were there. There wasn't a lot going on, you know, but it seems to be picking back up now because, I mean, you got Je Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, who, yes, they were singles competitors, but they seem to have kind of come together pretty well working, you yeah, know, as, yeah. a, as a pretty good, you know, tag team. You know. They're one of their more prominent tag teams. Right, so you got the, the reforming, you know, reformation of Riot Squad, so to speak, with the two of them. Yep. Um, you know, Liv Morgan and... Uh, Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot, yeah. Because, you know, Sarah got released and she's also having a baby. <laughs> you know. Uh, babies everywhere. So baby feet. But uh you got the new team of Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. Well, Dana Brooke. Which uh, I kinda like. Then we, then they, we have they were pretty good. Yeah. Then we have thrown together singles tag team yeah. on SmackDown with Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. I think that might have just been a one-off thing, maybe, though. You know, I don't know. It yeah. might have been. I don't know. And then we had Bailey and Carmella. Which could be another one But thing. But the other tag team, though, that they have kind of had them team together on numerous occasions now has been uh, Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce. Yeah. But why break up the Iconics to just put that, Peyton Royce that back That, to me, someone? made no sense. You know? No sense. And then Billy Kay's out there just passing her resume. Yeah, over. leave, leave, you know, you know, leave them as a tag team and let Peyton, you know. Better looking out of the Iconics. Who you got? Probably Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Now you just hurt the other so, ones. But, the ones. You know that? Poor shit. You know, but, but Charlotte and Oscar, I mean, obviously that's a... That's a throw together tag team. But dude, it is and working. I don't, I don't know that they're going to last till Rumble. That's, that was what my question was. Going to be. Yeah, are, are they going to stick together? Are the are the is this a well, one and done quick Sunday. tag team? Ring? Charlotte wants the. Charlotte she keeps wants the signaling title. at the at the Raw Women's Championship. That's what though. she wants. So right now they're going to get. They could just right now have them win a few times. They're tag team champions. But it would be it would be interesting if they if the WWE for once actually had tag team champions face each other for another singles title because they have done champion tag team champions face each other before but they never had them be champions while going after the same championship this is true yeah that would be, be cool if all the championships were on the line what charlotte wins the smackdown title and yeah <laughs> and then you do the, the two world titles and the tag team titles like bitch you ain't my tag team partner no more this is my belt <laughs> so they would have the tag team belts. They would have, you know, the, and then they can unify the two world titles. Yeah, but a lot can happen. Sasha and Bailey just did that. Yeah, I know. I know. So I, I think, I think they're gonna lose the tag title soon. No. And they're gonna yeah. have a one-on-one -on -one match for the Raw Women's Title at Royal Rumble, and then it'll probably lead to WrestleMania. That'd be cool. That being said, that was topic number one. <laughs> Let's move on to topic number two, since we're talking about rivalries. And heavyweight titles. Let's talk about the Christmas street fight that happened on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Six man tag team matchup. I just yeah. want to say there were tables that had presents. For Christmas, Christmas, Christmas decor. street fight. Yeah, man. They had they had everything. It was cool. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to throw that so, out there. Thanks for that uh my colorful question, insight. My yeah. question is, where do you should you? Where do you think this is going to go? We, who's who's facing? Yeah, because I mean, they win. They win the street fight. Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, and Keith, Keith Lee. Lee. But you know, beforehand, you got Sheamus and Keith Lee backstage bickering and fighting at each other's throats. And then they coexist somewhat during the match. They win the match, and then Sheamus, you know, bro kicks Keith Lee in the face. Yes. Which I personally... Yeah, which yeah, pisses off Drew McIntyre. Now Drew McIntyre and Sheamus are yelling at each other. I think it's ultimately leading to... Now, it could end up being a triple threat or a fatal four-way, possibly. But I think ultimate, it's going to but, but the bottom line is it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be Sheamus attack, you know, turning on McIntyre. Of course it's going to be. Yeah. So, but like I said, Keith Lee might be in yeah, that but, mix, but, too. But, AJ Styles maybe as a fourth person. Okay. That'd be interesting. 
a fatal four way and miss. Right, you know. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Joey? Nothing. I'm good. Go ahead. Next. What was your opinion? Nothing. Yeah, you just had to wait till I was done. I'll go forever. No, so I'm done. Now. Your, and now you're you have the you're ruining your time slot. Wasting. We're giving it to you. What is okay. your opinion? So what I think is take uh, the comic away from him. What is I, your opinion? Nothing. nothing. Oh, oh Jesus! Will you just I spit know. it out? No, it's got Drew McIntyre. Drew out, McIntyre. So. This is his second title reign, and I think right now they just want him to have instead of just single, you know, one-on-one -on -one wins. Like they they try to mix it up. So like he's yeah. gonna if it does go triple threat, I do think he's gonna win. I don't see Sheamus or. Well, Keith we both Lee saw that same video, YouTube video, where they talked about that, about them wanting to get Drew McIntyre into multi-opponent matches. Right. So what I'm saying uh, is, <clears> and he I, does good at him. He doesn't have a lot of them. Yes, I'm. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, you're interrupting. So <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Is it going to be a triple threat? I think it's going to be. <laughs> yes. I try to tell you. Okay, right. Come so, on. <laughs> so I do think it's going to be a triple threat, and I do think McIntyre will retain to go with what that video you were saying. So I do agree with that. Now, I actually agree. Boy, you took a long way I to did. get to that. I, I did. actually agree with the triple threat. <laughs> but just to throw a really weird concept out there. I know the Elimination Chamber is coming up, so they're going to obviously <coughs> have to pick Six but competitors. The here and you're here. You but walked all the way around the lake to get to the dock. I exactly. did, exactly. bro. <laughs> what, what if, what if, <laughs> woo! What if they did another scramble match? Because that that's, that takes five competitors. Oh, you're it'd talking be, about the championship it'd, scramble. It would be Drew McIntyre, yeah, Keith Lee, AJ Styles, Sheamus, and the Miz to keep Miz relevant until after elimination. That could be possible. Yeah, because he's, not cause he's, going he's to happen. It's just a curveball. Because he's, well, he is petitioning to get that money in the bank. Yeah, dude. Ba uh, thing back. Because he's technically, Morrison cashed it in. I didn't. Right, exactly. He is being a bitch about it. Like, yeah. come on. Let's, but the, let's they, wouldn't have, they wouldn't Love bring is, that but... angle up if that wasn't probably Oh, that could involve him. Oh, I do think he's back into the, not that he's going to be champion, but he's definitely in the, in the, the championship contenders area. Oh yeah. Now, when, when does the elimination know, chamber? When does it come? Gomez. I mean, elimination I chamber is usually February. So it comes after the rumble. So it'll come right. after the rumble. Right. So yeah. So you never know. That hey, could Morrison, determine. Morrison could be thrown in there. Yeah. Morrison hasn't I'm, had a world title in WWE yet. I'm waiting for that. So throw that out there. I'm waiting for that split. Miz yeah, that and Morrison. Could, that could. Ha that could. Make the split happen. The but you know what? I was happy. Yeah. yeah. Either split them up or get them going. I mean, or the Rumble. It's like. Uh, he turned on the Rumble so to get them eliminated. See, this is the thing about They're a tag team. And they, they're both all focused on Miz winning the World Championship. I would think as Morrison, you would be like, that, you know, that, that that's fine and dandy. But, that, but that's all about you, man. I, what about me? I want a title. And we're not even trying to go after the, uh, at least go after the tag titles, for Christ's sake. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, it it yeah. just kind of seems like it's, the it's Miz, Miz with Morrison. It's yeah. not Miz and Morrison. Like, it's just the Miz's show. Yeah. I, I yeah. got, it. I got he, it. Morrison is, is he's, uh, he's Ed McMahon to Miz is Johnny Carson. <laughs> oh, well, Bill. Enough about that topic. This is David Letterman and Morrison. As we can go on for days. We can continue with that. Really, topic. Cal. On the next Dirty Dozen. Whoa, Dirty right. Dozen. He's fishing with Kyle. He's reeling in a big one. Let's yeah. go on to another topic that is actually getting a little bit more interesting, which is Sea good. Roy's over in the distance busting up his bike. Sea Roy! Whoa! Let's talk a little bit. Taking his damn bike apart. We, we, have, like we haven't uh, talked In the one. middle of the studio. I like that shit, right? Yeah, I saw that. We haven't talked oh, about it for a while. Let's talk about a little bit about what Retribution is doing. <sighs> retribution? I still don't uh, know about know, those I dudes. Mean, for Christ's sake, check. dude, Retribution. It could have been good, Bill. Could have been a contender. It could have been up there. 
But the you know, but here's the thing. Or the NWO. They're still. But they fucked up. They're still kicking though. Yeah, but I they still fucked kicking. Up. I think they're still kicking because they're trying to recruit now. Now obviously they're they're hard up going after you know trying to get ricochet. I feel like Ali's not the leader anymore. If they are successful, and they keep going with the momentum. And they get Ricochet to be a part of the, of Retribution. They could actually start making this storyline successful. Yeah, and not only it's not only talk about Twitter, Bill. Yeah, I'm talking talk about, about. I'm gonna talk, talk some, about the tweet. I'm gonna talk some tweet. Man. Right. Nothing to do with the president. Now listen to this, Cal. Watch this shit. Bro. After after the Fiend and Randy Orton match, <laughs> you know, Retribution, they put they put a tweet out. To, to talking to Randy Orton, talking about you know, well, we seen you know basically that we we seen what you did to the Fiend and we loved it. You know we you know and that just know that our door is always open to you. So I mean, Do you know what it that sounds mean? crazy. You know, <laughs> Randy Orton ain't joining no damn retribution. But <laughs> if he does, you he know, will. I mean, if you really, if you think about it, it's. It's not that crazy. Of no, an idea. dude. Think about it. Think about it. Randy Orton would clearly become the he, leader, and he's been in factions. Rated RKO, Evolution. Um, what was the other one? Rated, Legacy. Rated RKO is more of a tag team. Yeah, but still, I did. They yeah, were that was a tag team. Well, still, a faction. If you have a faction or whatever, you need at least, at least three, three people. people. Okay, yeah, so and he had that with Legacy. Right, he, he had was that. part of the Wyatt family, and he was in Lord. Evolution. So that's three. Okay. So then my whole thing is Wait, wasn't he at one time no. Yeah, wasn't he somewhat involved with uh uh the authority? Wasn't yes, it? yeah, 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 yeah the authority. Some, so he, yeah. So, so so my whole point is is that it wouldn't be that far fetched. No. He he would definitely take it over. Yeah, and he's with very his star power. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be a guy that's in the group. He's very anarchist like. Yes, you know? dude. It would be awesome. They need to get Ollie out of there. Cause that no, they could they could leave Ollie in it, but, but Ollie just would would not obviously Ollie would maybe or would not become you know, how cool would it be if he just steps in and tells him he needs to step aside and be you know, in the group, but you're no longer the leader and just kind of take it over. I, I don't see anyone Objective. telling him no. I don't see anybody telling him no, bro. I don't think anybody okay, would tell so, him no. All right. I don't think so, Kyle. I don't think they would. Let's just... All cards on the table. Is Ricky Shea going to become member of Retribution? Yes I or say, no? I say yes. I say yes. So do I. Is Randy Orton going to become involved with Retribution? No. Would in any way, also... shape, or form. Not no. necessarily joining him. Will he work with them? I don't will think he cool. use them in I, any way? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So but it zero would be, association. But it would be cool. Because with this it would whole... be awesome. I think, yeah. I think it would be awesome right. if they did it. But, but I, I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to go down. Yeah, because I don't think the, the Orton Fiend thing is done. I don't think no, that's, that's, that's speaking of oh. our next topic on the topic number four on the. See how we did that? We just on the. See, dirty does. See, there you go. See I said we, it twice. See how we did that? We just rolled right into the next topic. Yep. Hell yeah, dude. We're gonna talk about the Alexa's playground. Like Corey on his bicycle. Just bicycle. Cruising. Just cruising. Up. Oh. Bill it in, dude. He just gave me the look. Oh, man. What, that, what look is that? You mean like, the look? Should I leave the room and dim the lights? No. No. The oh, look. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Like he don't oh, oh, we're getting out of line. So what's the topic now? We're getting out of line. Uh, what's the topic? Now, Alexis, Alexis Playground. Oh, yeah, it's Playground. 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 Yeah. Playground. You're cut off. Yeah, Go on. Get, Get out of here. I can't I can't make him leave. If he leaves, then what are you going to talk about? Yeah. He has all the input. Yeah. Not a joke. So I'm, <laughs> let me tell you something. True. Tell me something. Case so. one. Tell me so. I know what's the fuck's happened this week in wrestling. And also, respect. Uh, identical. All right. The three two one screw studios is in my apartment, so I'm not leaving. It's in this kitchen. Anyway, you gotta kick me out. 
So yeah, Bliss is playing. Would you stop throwing the damn title on the ref? What is, what is wrong? Yeah. You know what? It's all that damn Christmas chocolate that he ate before we started filming the show. I did. I didn't eat dinner, and I'm a little sugar high right now. So Reel it in. Just bring it back we down. We mentioned Playground, and then he turns into a listen, child. Listen, listen, listen. I just want to say, before we continue. Say what? I'm sorry, boys. Okay. Let's talk about Alexa Bliss's Playground. What do we think this is leading up to? Is the fiend coming back? Is he gonna is he gonna be a completely different character? Oh absolutely. Oh, absolutely. It's gonna be something darker, I think. Dude, she made it clear that he wasn't done. No, yeah. but when he comes back, he's gonna be uh how did she say it, Bill? We just watched Something it again, like you've too. never seen before. Something like you've never seen before. In other words But that could go one of two ways. That can go, he could be more of a, more of a humanish kind of, of fiend, you know, like or maybe. More creepier. More creepier, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. More creepier can you get. That's what I'm saying. I think there's going to be, well, a, gonna be a, there's gonna be a new mask. Yeah, you, you mentioned you think there's going to be a new mask and maybe, you know, I think they're still going to continue the fun house. Maybe. Firefly Funhouse. I don't think Maybe. that's... It could be, or they may... Continue it with the Alexa. The Firefly Funhouse may go away, and it may become Bliss's Playground. That might be the new... And uh, honestly, the new, the new direction. The new skit, the new now, show to take the place. Here's my question. That'll be the set. She hasn't been wrestling, right? No. I'm wondering if she's injured. Well, she had concussion issues last year yeah and that's why she was not wrestling for a long time right i remember that and now she hosted, she hosted wrestlemania and what, what was that two years ago yeah it's just it could she's just be their keep, wrestler. it could just be they're keeping her i mean because really yeah she hasn't really wrestled well no she wrestled a few matches after the first abduction did, did by she the get team. the tag title right. with the uh, cross or dinky cross right no, that was before. That was before. That was before she did the Because it was when Nikki right. Cross was trying to get the women's title right. from right. Bailey. Right. Yeah, where the hell has she been? I think Alexa, like, ate her or something. Whoa. Well, no, she, there was a whole thing. I thought there was an attack by, you know, on her or something. Yeah, I don't know. But I think... Shit's crazy. I, honestly, I think Nikki Cross will... I, yeah. I think she's gonna come back. I think she's gonna come back as part of this. I can really, honestly, I can see Alexa Bliss getting some, some like people with her. You know what I'm saying? Like have her own little stable. Yeah, before before Fiend comes back in whatever way, shape, or form, he's gonna come back. Or maybe you know, and it may not be a Royal Rumble. We may this they it might be Elimination Chamber. It might be a damn WrestleMania for all you know. I don't know. so. It, it, that it very well said, could be. Mm -hmm. What are our predictions of when we will see the fiend again? Okay, if I have to predict, I think it's going to be before WrestleMania. So the I'm earliest, gonna, the earliest I think. Royal Rumble would be. Yeah, would be Royal. I'll Rumble. go with I'm, that. I'm thinking Rumble too. All right. It won't be, and that's January 31st. Yeah, it it they, won't they happen before. That would be. Yeah, that'll be the, the earliest we see him. But honestly, I'm just saying, I wouldn't be shocked. If they waited till elimination chamber. Yeah, they could do that too. I would. I, I mean, Royal Rumble though. Maybe because maybe it'll get stuff going for Mania too. The other storylines, you know, like Orton and and Wyatt man. Maybe they go one more time at Mania. But here's my question. Yes. At at come Rumble. Who who's Orton gonna be in a program with? If you know, if. If we're we're saying the fiend will be may just be competing in the rumble. Maybe the fiend shows up in the rumble. To that, confront. that could be it. Or a bunch of just be, fighting around just me. In, 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 they get in the, the middle the of the ring. But well, you know, a lot of those guys who actually will have matches still earlier in the show. I, I know, but the some of them just wrestle the the rumble too. It would just be kind of weird though, because Orton is kind of a big name. He you is. Think but he would have a, a match okay. with some of you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying I know, I know. Usually, and usually, and usually they here. would do that with the title matches. Like that's what I'm asking. Like, like whose reigns gonna face at the Rumble? You know, it's it's they they tie up their big stars, whoever's the main champions, or if there's a big rival. At the Rumble, I think it's gonna be Kevin Owens one more time. You think so? Third yeah, time's a charm. You know, just which 
Well, and, and you know what the world we getting not off to topic. get ahead, we'll, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. As we'll talk about though. Yeah. You know, some of what happened on jump ahead what happened. I know, I'm not jumping ahead. I'm, I know, I they know. They gotta know that we're gonna mention that. So I'm, I'm just, I'm I'm just clowning because he calls me saying. jump ahead. Oh, he is. Speaking of big events that are coming up before the Royal Rumble, let's talk about our next topic: New Year's Evil. I like how we did that. He just went right in there, Kyle. He did. Hey, if I didn't, did. we would we would still be talking about the freaking Royal yeah. Rumble, which is a month away he for another two hours. Bill, that's why I'm glad you put him on the payroll, man. He just he just busted <laughs> in the door and pushed our faces down into the so, pillow. He did. We have a lot to talk about. Well, a little, it. little bit of time. Going in dry. Let's see what all happened leading up to New Year's Evil. What? <laughs> You know You'll see when you watch the video. I, I heard him say New oh, Year's Evil. We're with yeah, you. New oh, Year's Evil, the whole match card. We, <laughs> we are going to... The whole match card. Oh, Light that away, case wise. We're going up, man. We got... Let's see, we got Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa in the uh, pit fight. Fight pit. Fight pit. Pit fight, yes. whatever you want to call it. Dude, and the last one was Riddle and him, correct? Riddle and Thatcher, yeah. Thatcher won. Right. That was Riddle's that last was a NXT match. match. Also, fun fact, special referee was Kurt Angle after he was released. Yeah, yeah. So, just a little fun fact. Go ahead, continue. Um, so, we got Thatcher and Ciampa in the, in the pit fight, fight pit, whatever you want to call That's it. That's going to be probably way, the you match of the night. Um, you got Leon Ruff, who North in, American title earned shot. another North American Against title Gargano. shot. Against by defeating Timothy Thatcher. Yes. So yeah, he's got Gargano for another North American title. Dude, and we had a returning Mercedes Martinez Martinez going after Io Shirai, which might be a title match on New Year's Eve. I can see that. I can see if they, if she's involved in it though, it's gonna be it'll be a triple threat because I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna keep Tony Storm out. I think Tony Storm. Yeah. I think it'll end up being Tony Storm. And uh, Io Shirai. Io and Shirai Martinez. and Martinez. Mercedes. Marti Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes Martinez, yes. Which, a little fun little side note, the last time we saw her in NXT was when she lost the cage match to Rhea Ripley. Yeah. And then she was the other chick in Retribution in the mask. Uh, and then all of a sudden, remember? She disappeared. She disappeared, and then there was only Mia Yim. That's that because Mercedes Martinez. Yes, it was Mercedes Martinez, and that's why she disappeared because she was coming back to NXT. Okay. So, speaking of Rhea um, Ripley, we also have Rhea Ripley and the Raquel Gonzalez. Yeah, that rivalry still, heating up real he good. He's on the fucking money tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. Um, you just rope it on in, man. You got, you got a tie it all in. I love it, Kyle. Oh, who else? Who else I won't do that now? next time. Um, <laughs> And then we got oh the NXT title match between Finn Balor and Kyle O'Reilly. Oh yeah, part two. Part I two. mean the first one. Who's so, got it? As we so, all remember. Here we go. There's hold on, hold on. There's one more. Damian Priest and Karrion Cross. Absolutely, that's going to be amazing. But I just, that know, I just want to be a know. Heavy here's fight. here's the question for the top. Who's winning the NXT title this time? Kyle O'Reilly. You think Kyle is walking around? With, I think Kyle with walks this would be his it. first one, correct? Yeah, I think. I think Kyle. I think Kyle. I think Kyle's Kyle's going to take it this time. You think too. he's going to be Balor, huh? I think he's going to do it. Hey, he's got an awesome I name. I do. I do. That'll put him over too. He's got an awesome name, Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> Here's one of the reasons why I could see that I see this happening. Is because there is. There, there were plans before the whole COVID shit hit, the uh -huh. lockdowns and everything went on. Finn Balor was going to be in a little bit of a program with one Walter from NXT uh, UK. I do remember us talking about that. There was going to be a series of matches. And um, I would not be surprised if they have Kyle O'Reilly take the NXT title. And send Balor And then there. that will free Balor up NXT to UK. maybe do the whole NXT UK thing with uh, Walter for the NXT UK 
championship. We want question, life. would he be the one to take it off him? I don't know about that, but I, mean, I don't know about it'd that. It'd be a very either. interesting match. It would. It depends on if they've uh, got Walter to finally decide to come here. They wanted to bring him over from NXT UK to NXT or even Raw SmackDown. Right. And he hasn't wanted to leave from the UK. He didn't, you know, he's like, oh, you know, this is where my, this is, People, if you this don't is know where I want to be. This is where my family's at. This is where my friend's at. I don't yeah. want to. But sometimes money talks, you know, and if they offer them the right stack of cheese, yeah. he might decide, you know what, I'll give it a go for a while, you know. So if, you know, if, if they've got, I got him to agree to maybe come this side. I can see then having Balor, a name like Balor go over. If oh, Balor yeah. wins that, bring him over. And then Balor will, you know, he'll give it up to someone else right. up and coming over there. So this next person doesn't necessarily have to be the one to take out Walter. Mm. They'll give that to an established guy like Balor who will take Walter out. And then Walter will come over here. And then some new guy will come in and he'll face Balor. And Balor will put this guy over. And then Balor comes back. All right. Possibly. That's a good idea. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm just good, saying. Good theory, Bill. Bill. you should take a sip after that. You had a good theory, damn it. It is a good theory. And Kyle O'Reilly, you know, deserves... It is a good theory. I Kyle like O'Reilly it. deserves the title. He does. He does. Okay. So that's the upcoming New Year's Eve. I do. I Which is going to be hosted by uh, Dexter Lewis. Is it? Oh, really? I didn't yes. know that. That's actually Which is going to be interesting. The guy who doesn't speak... Is going to be hosting New Year's Eve. He has art. Yeah. Art. that picture. Yeah. Yep. So, staying on the topic of NXT for the moment, let's move on to topic number six, which we are halfway through, baby, of the Dirty Dozen. Let's talk about a little bit. My cousin Vinny, bro. Of what's (laughs) happening with Shia Lee. Lee. Zia Lee. Zia Lee. Yeah. Zia Lee. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Zia. Zia. She yeah, is you know, yeah, they've been doing piece. this whole over the weeks. They've been doing this series of vignettes. Yeah, you dude. know, where after they were, well, it all started with you know when she kept you know coming out telling me going to Regal, I need a match. I, I must, I have to have a match. I have to win. I have to win. And she kept losing, and then she finally lost. And that's when someone come out, brought her like a little scroll. She read it, looked distressed. Boom, she took off, and then shit like that started happening. And then she just disappeared. And then they started showing all these little vignettes where she was somewhere. It looks like they were, you know, they're, they're, they're getting, you know, tortured or whatever the hell, you know. They get beat with kendo sticks. And she's Covered beating the shit out of the, what's the, what's the guy's name? The guy? Um, I don't remember. Yeah. Sorry. Beating the shit out of these guys. Yeah, because it was, it, it, was, it, was her, it was no, it was the same guy every time. It's her and, and Shiley and this other guy. I forget okay. the guy's name. Sorry, we'll look it up. Give you the name. Bowen. Bowen. That's Bowen. his name. Bowen. All right. So you um, go, Captain Bill. She's vicious. So yeah, you know they're, they're beating, training on them. They're water tortures. And, yeah, they're showing her kicking him across the chest and beating him one time. She's just punching him in the face over and over again. She's getting that belt. And then the final, this oh, last yeah. one, you know, that shows. All this shit happened, and then it shows, like, her coming up out of the water, and then it shows close up, you know, like, her face, and then his face, and then her face, and then it changes, and it's all, like, painted up. Looking similar to, like, if those of you who are familiar with Sue Young from Impact Wrestling, but it also kind of reminded me of just, like, something from, you know, from those old, the the Japanese horror movies, you know, like, The Grudge, Grudge and, you know, The Ring, you know. That sort of stuff, uh, you know, the way that looked—that's what that was reminiscent of. It's to definitely me. creepy. So something's going on with that, and I'm kind of intrigued to see what the hell that could be. Can't wait to see her return. And when do you, when do we think she's coming back? It very well could be a New Year's Evil. Or I mean, I'd it, be a good fit. either either New Year's Evil or she's coming back at the next NXT Takeover. There you go. Whenever, I like it. Whenever that is. Yeah, it, it, the only the only thing is if, if they were gonna wait till NXT Takeover, I don't think they would have gave us that little little, yeah, nugget. That little nugget right there because that was that would that was kind of like a okay she's ready she's done 
we're ready to unleash this. You know, why you know why would they show that and then wait till the, the next takeover? Right. So I don't know, but it could be, it could be. But all we know is we'll have to wait. Something's and see. coming, and it's going to be interesting. Agreed. Moving on to our next topic. Laser focus. Let's head on number to seven. Smacketh down. Let's talk about the rematch, cage match. Now I I am really proud of the WWE. First of all, whoever's writing shit for Raw has to pay attention to what's going on over. On SmackDown. SmackDown, I don't. I, I'm a yeah. fo- I'm a football fan. Now the Saints and the Vikings played on Fox, and right after that m- game was over, the WWE put this match on. It was a steel First, cage match yeah, they for the Universal the Title between it. Roman Reigns and KO. Good job WWE by putting your shit out there on Fox and getting fans to watch an awesome match at the start of your show. Wow. I am so proud of you tonight. Someone cashed his uh, royalty checks this week. <laughs> Damn. Because he busted wait, that wait, shit out. Wait, wait, wait. Like he's Kyle's on fire. <laughs> Un fuego. So. But you know, no, yeah, you're right, uh, though. I mean, yeah. you started off the show with that match. You, you that type right of right a in. caliber. And, and, it was, and it was it was a great match. It man. was an awesome match. Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens. Do I think he's going to take the belt off of Roman? No. No. But I do think, and you even said this just earlier, I do think they're going to go one more time. Yeah. But not only KO is losing, keeps losing to Roman. Yeah. But he's not, they're, he's, he's not they're losing straight up. Look strong. He's not yeah. looking like a bitch. No, yeah. He, he's, he's getting screwed he's, every way. Exactly. They're showing that he is every bit of capable of hanging. Well, and, and, and the big the dog, whole, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the cutter of the cheese, all that stuff. And, and Jay Usu, that I tell you what, piece man. of work, always that, handcuffing that and and interfering in shit. So that plays onto that. He, yeah. you know, it's and it was Roman's, he knew boy, it was just perfect where he cut them all because his toes was just about six just, inches short. Right. But it all goes back to what we've been saying many, Roman many times. Roman Reigns, man. Roman Reigns. That bad guy. Oh, he's an awesome heel. That that little with, with the championship right close to Kevin Owens' face, saying, uh, 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 "That was like perfect." Oh, yeah. you some bitch. Paul he's Heyman. gonna get his shit sooner or later. Can we trust Can him? We trust him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Batman fans, y'all know. Harvey yeah. Dent. Can we? No, you'll I'm have to I'm watch. Not, I'm not even going there. Nope. Yeah, well. Yeah, no, it's good. But yeah. I, I, do, I, I do see uh, Royal Rumble will be the third and final match to end in, the, the, in the Kevin end their, Owens. Their story. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, well, there'll be some kind of, and, and they'll, they'll do that because there'll be the, some, you know, Roman Reigns will be like, listen, I beat you twice. I'll give you one more shot. Oh, damn, if you man. don't do it this time. You're you done, go son. to the end of the line, son. But then they have to find four other guys to go into the chamber. That's going to be difficult. So you might get two more shots. Because who else is going to be in the chamber besides Kevin Owens? Yeah, but... I mean, dude, you got Big E. I'm talking about in a one-on-one. You got... Yeah, right, right. You know, one-on-one. Right, right, right. In an elimination chamber, yeah, you can have him in that, but... He won't be. If he won't make go down to the final. All you right. know, he'll get taken out by someone else, and that'll start his new feud. Right, right. I do want to say this: Roman Reigns, dude, is an amazing heel. He really is. Okay. So yeah. after everything that was said, good job WWE for putting on that show. Let's move on to topic number eight, and I want to give a big congratulations to one Big E baby. Yeah. He finally got Drake Intercontinental Title. For the second time, where the hell, where, there's one right there. You see that belt? He won it. Yeah. I see title. Yeah. So now. Yeah, he beat <laughs> Sami Zayn. That cheating this, son of a bitch. This starts Big E's big push for the heavyweight title. I, I'm hoping by next year, if not by next year, Big E will be heavyweight champion of either Universal title or WWE title or. I can see it. I can yeah. see a world title in his future. My, I, I, I will say this. I hope they let Big E 
give him a little bit of a, you know, give him a nice little chunk. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe with, do, with IC title. Maybe they'll yeah. do champion versus champion, him and Roman as a program. Yeah. Honestly, I, honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind letting him just be the champion, the IC champion, own that shit, and have like a big IC match with somebody at WrestleMania. Yeah. You know, a la Ricky uh, the Dragon, Steamboat, and uh, Randy Macho Man Savage, you know. Well, I don't think they're going to be able to compete. I think uh, I think Ricky Steamboat would take Randy down. You think so? Yeah, I could take Randy down. Much? No, Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, like give him yeah, that, give him that big Intercontinental <laughs> Championship title match at WrestleMania. That was good. <laughs> You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Stop saying your ass word, man. You can't be fucking again. demonetized yet, man. You don't know nothing, dude. You're just cardboard. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you're not even holding <laughs> real Slim Jims. Yell at me. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Big E on his win with the Intercontinental title. Hope you do great things with it, buddy. Hey, that being said, real quick, before we uh, shuffle on to number eight. Shuffle on. If nine. that is the case and they just let Big E kind of just bask in the Intercontinental title for a little while and then set him up for a big IC match at WrestleMania, yeah. who would you like to see him against in at WrestleMania for that? Daniel Bryan. Why would you want a face With versus a face? face? They've done face versus face before. There's yeah. no heel characters that you would like to see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If I had to go heel character, and i got to use SmackDown roster, of course. Right. Okay. So, I mean, if you really look at it, you have... Um, oh, my God. Baron Corbin. Uh, yeah, Don't you have his whole him. group thing going on, too, now. Baron Corbin would be good. I mean, he hasn't really had a singles championship in a long time. No, and I think a big E Baron Corbin... Um, feud would be good. Feud could be good. And here's the thing. At WrestleMania, if Baron Corbin was going against Big E at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental title, and because Baron Corbin now has his knights, yep. I see that as an opportunity for, for New Day to be to, to 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 be at you know Big E's side to uh make sure that those two, you know, cronies don't interfere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you get that WrestleMania they get, they get New Day, game. you know, moment. Pop. It gets a good yeah. match. You, you know what I'm saying? They come out, they escort Big E to the ring because Corbin's got these other two guys. They better have a nice... Because match. at WrestleMania, you're going to have both Raw and SmackDown competing. So you could have, even though they're on new different shows now, yeah, you yeah. could have them together. Called, they used to call them interpromotional right. matches. So, so that yes. would, yeah, I I could get on board with it with a Big E Corbin. I can too. Yeah. All right. Let, thanks for your. We're going to number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Oh yeah, that's you need wild, to man. count, my friend. We're number nine, yeah. baby. We're almost at the home stretch. Yeah, that's oh, not that's not well, no dirty, no dirtiness today, tonight. Yes, I'm just. Oh. So let's go on to uh, AEW. Uh, let's talk about the AEW Women's Champion, the Karu Shida, and. Amadon. Let me just say you. Abadon and Akarushita. Akarushita. Abba. Abba. Keep putting an M in there. Akarushita. I know, they are some crazy names to try to figure out, but it's Abadon. Abba. I've just, I just gotten used to saying Io Shirai, and now you got to name off all these other guys. Io or Shirai women. is in a different company. I know, I'm just saying. Just be glad that Kyrie Sane is gone. Because then you'd have Kyrie Sane. Asuka, Zaya Lee, Hikaru Shida. All I'm saying is... But yeah, that crazy demonic looking... I don't know what. She looks like something out of a horror movie. She has that blood coming out of her mouth and getting all over the title. And yeah. What was the one that got bit? Who got bit? Hikaru Shida Hikaru got bit. Shida My got Abaddon. Abaddon. My Abaddon. Where have you been, Joey? All right. Bit right on the neck. She's blood all gushing out. So, just talk a little bit about a little bit about the AEW Women's Championship. Do you think Ab Ab Abaddon 
Is he going to take the title off of Hikaru Shida? No. No. No? No. 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 I don't think so. No. I think so. I think it's a, it's a cool, interesting little Intro. matchup, you know, kind of just because Abaddon's such a <laughs> unique uh, character. Character. Uh, unique but, character. But no, I don't see them. At it, not, might, it might not, just end in disqualification. Not at this point in time. Abaddon might someday, you know, win and have the AEW title. I, I think this is. She's gonna, not the one to take it from Sheena. I don't think the women's champion. I think this is going to create a storyline that goes for a few months, and Abaddon does take the title from her. Possibly. I'm going to go with Abaddon. Okay. I'm with Cal. You would disagree with him, big time. No, I said the, the crazy chick. That's who I said. Right, but when I said that I don't think she's doing it, you also agreed with that, too. You can't prove a damn so, thing. You just wait, rewind so it when we rewind, rewind it. On no, show. honestly, honestly, like I said before that, though, I'm kidding. Dis I, <laughs> I think she retains, but it's going to be like a disqualification or something. I don't think they're going to make her look okay, weak so you and lose right away. Yes, I do okay. agree with Bill. I just don't like telling him. But I do agree. How do you think I feel? God. Anyway, that was our prediction. I'm going with Abaddon. These two are going with Tarushita retaining. Let's move now, on. Move on, on to number 10. I did. Because of Vinny's. <laughs> well, we're going to brush it on again with more inner circle because it's just one of the interesting topics of yeah. the show. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. First, we got. MJF and Jericho not really getting along in the tag team match against Top, top, top flight. flight. And then MJF <laughs> does a asshole cut type maneuver by trying to be joking on Ortiz and... What's his tag team partner's name? Uh, Santana. Santana. Who are you talking about, MJF? Yeah. Oh, well, how, I mean, it's just, I mean, hell, during the match, during the match you had... Um, you know, MJF and Jericho tag teaming against Top Flight, and they all kept like trying. They both kept trying to like one steal up one up each other and steal the spotlight away from yeah. one another. So it's the, they're not a smooth, cohesive unit. And then yeah, before he goes into the room with Santana Ortiz, you know he's talking to the camera. Just watch this, you know, and he puts on this whole thing about oh his losing his granddad and you know, and he's getting the tears and. Because apparently, uh, one of them, Ortiz or Santana, or which one, you know, they lost somebody recently, so he was trying to console. You know, them. I understand, dude, and I'm here for you, buddy, if you need me. And, and then they leave, and he's like, ah, you know, it's, I mean, clearly he was, you know, he was faking it. So it's just. Yeah. He's got an agenda. Oh, no, absolutely, he's got an agenda. And then, Jake Hager. Yeah. Finally puts his foot down and gets in the ring. And gets in the, and he wants a match with Wardlow. Because oh. he has a problem with this guy. That's a big dude. Yeah. He went to the he went to the top the top people to get this match. Yeah. It's gonna be a good one. So it's gonna be a good one. I think we've already made this prediction in one of our previous shows, but do you think Inner Circle's staying together? No. Yeah. No, not now. I think no. inner, I think Inner Circle's done. not now. I think Jericho's going to take a vacation after this. They're going to blow. Think. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, yeah, I do see Jericho going maybe away for a little for bit. For a little bit, yeah. Now, now, because now these team, these guys have had the limelight with him. Now they can go on and do what they want to do. Guevara's got a bright singles career. Guevara, Guevara's going. I or see Guevara. I see Guevara going. To, he he's. I wouldn't be surprised seeing all of Inner Circle sort of take a, a face like turn. Right. You mean together or in their separate Just ways? Just even in their separate ways. I yeah. see Guevara going face. Um, Jericho, I think, I is see just going to leave. And when Jericho comes back, I think he comes back face. Well, he will, and it'll be a surprise when he comes back. I think Santana and Ortiz, they're the wild guy. Hager, I see Hager going, making a face turn. Because Wardlow's obviously, unless Wardlow's going to make the face turn it could and be, turn on NJF. Yeah, I want, I'm waiting for that to happen. That, uh, kind of like a Batista Triple H thing. Wardlow yeah. needs to turn on MJF. Yeah. 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 That's done with. Well, they need to, but MJF finally needs to go overboard and like smack him right in the face. And then Wardlow just eats him or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Crap so, him out Yeah, later. it's going to be, uh, I, I just, yeah, it. 
it's it's not gonna be long. It's not gonna be long. I would say I'm gonna give it a month, a month at the most. You yeah. think so? You think it's a coming? A month tops. A month. For, for before, inner circle, before inner circle, inner circle implodes. Implode. Yeah. See, I before I was like no, but now the way they're t they're telling the story, I can agree. Yeah. I I do think because my thing was Jericho will leave for a while, take some time off. Yeah. He'll work out. He'll come back. You know, because you know you, you, people. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's all making makes jokes about him now, you know, getting all doughy and shit. He's a yeah. very busy man. But yeah. that's what I'm saying though. He'll leave for a while, he'll take some time <laughs> off, you know, he'll work out, he'll, you know, <laughs> do his thing, get Jay, and he'll come back all you know. He's got talk to chisel. Jericho, chisel. He's wrestling, he's a musician, he does an draw artist. a lot. Listen, but that's he's an artist. Listen, that's what the wrestler, off, that's off, how off, they off, do that shit. Off. How many times does a wrestler left and when they come back, they're like, oh my oh shit, dude. He have he's books? jacked. He's got like 20 of them. I don't I mean, know. I mean, most, they, but realistically, I do remember think. Remember when Triple H left offers, with his quad yeah. injury? Remember what he looked like when he left with his quad injury? And and when he came back, back, he looked like. He came back jacked. Looked like he was. You know? Cody Rhodes, he left for a while. He came back. He was clearly bigger. Pac come back. He was bigger. Pac's always bigger. You know, when these guys aren't, you know, doing shows and they're doing all that shit, that's all they're doing is just working out. Man. Because when they're home, they can rest, they can work out. Right. They can focus on just that right. instead of Right, they can eat right, they mode. can work out. Exactly. So speaking of people who are being jacked and talking about our next topic, topic number 11, let's talk about Brian Cage and Darby Allen. Darby Allen. Darby and Allen. Team Taz having a problem with Sting. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I mean, really, honestly, every time Sting come out, there's been some sort of so far. Every time he's come out, there's been some sort of Taz. path crossing listen, with Team, Team Taz. Taz. Listen, can I just say this? Taz is a very angry New Yorker. Yeah, that's all it comes down to. No, yeah. no. Uh -uh. Let me rephrase that. He's a New Yorker. A New Yorker. That's, they're all like that. What's that you? Because you're a different breed. Oh, you know something? Shut up, Mr. <laughs> Jersey. I would know because I'm not from New York. Yeah. So, no, but my thing is, on a real Miami! I like... Oh, God, here we go. So, here's, here's my only thought on this, okay? I like what they're doing with Taz. I like how he's building up a stable. You have your big guy. You have your small guys. You know, you have... You can do tag teams, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. He's kind of getting all the elements together. Bottom line, if they're going after that, who does, or they're, if, they're, if they're angling towards some sort of match with Sting, who would you have, who would be in a match against Sting? Well, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that uh, Brian Cage is going to be involved. And is it going to be a match, or is it just going to be some sort of physical a altercation? Beat down. I think they're going to beat I, down Sting. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what kind of injury Taz has, but it would be interesting if Taz got into a ring. I, I that's what that I would match, like. I don't know if that match has ever happened. A Sting that, that, Taz that will be cinematic. Taz versus Sting. Huh? That could like, happen. Like a Taz dun, versus dun, Sting. Dun, dun, dun. Back, you know, they could do the back lot brawl. Right. Yeah, man. Oh yeah! Oh, dude, that was. Or like I said, would they, it could just be a tag team match with with Ricky Starks. What's going on? And Taz versus Darby Allen and Sting. Yeah, but Darby Allen has got you know it's, he him and he's you know, got Sting. He's got the uh, TNT title match. They got yeah, they got that thing going on. So I and and then Taz still wants to make the FTW cha championship an actual title. Yeah, I think it will. So, I think I would love to see Taz in the ring one more time. He face, hasn't face wrestled. Sting. God, man, how long? It's been a long time. It'd be very. This would be a great way to see Taz in the ring one more time. Oh, I love Taz as a performer. He was phenomenal. The human suplexing machine, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody Taz did mission. a suplex like he did. But Taz can he do it though? You know, I mean, that's the thing. Is 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 Taz capable of having a match? I think he can. No, I, no, I'm just I'm being honest. <laughs> I think he can. I think he can. I think he can. I, 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 a, a straight up Hon wrestling match, not a cinematic. Oh, well, but a regular well, wrestling well, match. Honestly, if Bret Hart can come back and have the match he had at WrestleMania 26, 
He was also against Vince McMahon. Which he really didn't do a whole lot because all of his family members were outside the ring beating up Vince McMahon. I think Taz can come back one more time and have a some kind of a some kind of stipulation match with Sting. Do you think he's gonna tell him <clears throat> tell Sting he's just another victim? Maybe this is where Sting announces to Taz's son Hook, I'm your real actual father. <laughs> I'm your poppy. I'm your poppy. <laughs> The storyline was like 15 years ago. You guys yeah. got a lot to go. I'm your Bobby. Now, so I just Bobby. so happened to have a Rey Mysterio. Yeah. It's just, it, it, it'll be interesting. I'm your Bobby now, Dominic. We don't, we don't That's know. That's how he said it. We don't know what, I mean, honestly, we don't know what, uh, what Sting's capable of doing. You know what I mean? Medically, what can he do? Can he even have an actual match? All we know right. is. You know, or. All is that he, he has been medically cleared for right now is to walk down the ramp, get in the ring, and talk on the microphone. And point it out. So, point out. yeah. Right, so it'll so, be interesting to see so where he goes. I would like to see him get fit. You know what? Even if he didn't wrestle, you know what they kind of make him? He's just there to to make awesome. sure justice, yeah. Yeah, Justice he can very, is he can very easily go out there, go out there, throw a scorpion death drop on someone and put them if in the like death, scorpion Taz, death lock. If like Team Taz is fucking with somebody and there's like four on one, five on one, whatever, he'll come out there and just start whooping ass. Come out with that bat, take That's a couple people out, you know, scorpion death drop. Do you think if he does wrestle, is there going to be a Cody sting? Well, all that is interesting. We just have to wait and see, man. Who we knows? See what Who happens. knows? We the are possibilities are endless. We are at our main event. This is our dirty dozen twelve. We're gonna get a little serious at the moment because yep. we've had a very tragic loss in, in the wrestling in world. the wrestling world this week. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Brody Lee, yeah. aka Luke Harper, real name John. Hubert Hoover. H U B E R. John Hoover. Passed away on December and 25th. 26th. I'll tell you what. Oh, was the 26th? 25th, the day after. 26th, the day after Christmas of a non COVID related lung issue. Yeah. And his wife was the so, one. And it's something that came on that quick because that. when he left AEW, he didn't leave for an illness. He left storyline. It was after losing. That strap match, or that with Don Cody Rhodes, match, or whatever Rhodes, it was, yeah. with Cody Rhodes. With Cody Rhodes for the TNT, TNT Championship. championship. He what. was going to leave for a little bit to sell the injuries from that match. And during that time, he took ill. Yeah. Um, from what I have heard, the stories that so far that I've heard is, it actually, he was, he was, he was working out. He, was, he had one of those Peloton bikes. He was working out. Yep. Uh, started not feeling well, was having issues catching his breath. And you know, go, we ended up going to the hospital. His, you know, his condition worsened, and um, well, you know, he passed away um, sadly at the age of forty-one on uh, December twenty-sixth. Go ahead, Kyle. Life is a very fragile thing, my friends. A one man you're having a match with uh, Cody Rhodes for the TNT title, and then all of a sudden, yeah, a few months later, you sadly you pass away. Yeah, and. Yeah, and it's crazy, dude. He and everybody he, reached out. Oh yeah, dude, from all, all different promotions. Ray Wyatt, you know, uh, former wrestlers, you know, Vince himself, Triple H. Oh yeah, dude. Ray Wyatt. That one was really. I read, you know, his he his was, his post, his tweet, man, and you know, and he, he, you know, he's like, I, you know, he's like, I'm so pissed off right now. This is, wasn't supposed to happen. We were supposed to be us, old, bald, and fat. Doing Wyatt promos, you know, gigs in uh, school gymnasiums, huh? you know, in our seventies, and uh, God, you know, man. he just. I like how he put that though, like. And, and he did, you know, the other thing that Bray said. He says, "I promise," because I guess uh, Brody's one of Brody's sons wants to get into wrestling or whatever. Yeah. And um, he said something about, "I promise to." Uh, you know, to put uh, to put your son over, you know, in a clean in a match like we, you know, like I promised, and but yeah, it was really hard. I on the way home, in fact, on the way home from work tonight, I watched Enzo Amore 
a, a video that he had posted. Really? Yeah, a little video of him, and he was choked up. Apparently, you know, when he first, you know, when they first come on the scene. He was a part you know, of that crew. Harper, you know, Luke Harper, Brody Lee, John Huber. And was, FCW. Was somebody who kind of took to him, you know, kind of helped him, you know, talked to him, you know. Oh, yeah. You well, know, when and, you and, really think about it, though, I, I said FCW, <coughs> all those guys mm -hmm. were there around the same time. All the S.H.I.E.L.D. members. Yeah. You, uh, you had Harper and Rowan. You had Bray Wyatt. They were starting the Wyatt family in NXT. Yeah. You know, you. it's just... It, yeah, Rowan, yeah, there's you been, know? Yeah, Rowan has reached out. Like I said, Cody. Cody talks about what, how honored he was. He is knowing that his, you know, that, that, that uh, Brody you know, Brody's final, final match, match was with, with him. him. Um, you know, John Moxley, you know, he treated out something, you know, where he's really, you know, I guess him and... Uh, you know, him and Harper were friends, and he talked about, you know, they had, you know, matches together, you know, back in, you know, in WWE. He talked about how the whole Wyatt Shield, you know, things were some. He's like, you know, he's like, that guy was so awesome. He says, you know, he says, like, I just, I can have such great matches with him, and I just can't, you know. It just, and I've, I've, a lot of people are affected. Dude, you know, they are. You don't real, yeah, you didn't realize how well respected and thought of that he was. He was. You know, across the board with an all-around good guy. I would love to see all promotions this week have a little tribute to John Hughes. Oh, absolutely. On Raw. Um, on well, AEW. I mean, as as we're filming this now, Monday Night Raw is recording. I'm sure they did. So I, I guarantee you, they started off the show with something, you know, mentioning yeah, talking absolutely. about him, which it, which is kind of cool because you know Vince is you know if anyone is AEW that's like. <sighs> Nah, but you not, know, you know, not exactly. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Not when it comes. I to think that. even even still, even though though he was AEW, he will. Because dude, he's still gonna talk Luke about Harper for a minute. Luke Harper had a lot of. He, he was know, involved in a lot of storylines. Long career. He no, did. Yeah. He did. He had a good push. With you know, even as the Bludgeon Brothers, yeah. which was awesome. That to me was my favorite persona of him with Rowan. Because it was like they achieved now. They're not just the Wyatt family. They're the Bludgeon yeah. Brothers. It's, right. you know. But I, I'm going to always remember him it's, it's, as getting the Intercontinental title right. in WWE. He had a singles run. Yeah. yeah. He had an awesome Yeah, match. He only TLC held the title for like 22 it. days, but still. Doesn't matter. He The way he threw that freaking uh, Tilt-A-Whirl... Clothesline or spinning clothesline? The, the discus. Discus, the discus clothesline. clothesline. Thank you. Maybe yeah. I'll be proud. Yep. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, it you know, everyone's, you know, all these different people are posting and tweeting out pictures of them with, with, uh, you know, with I saw Becky Lynch. Lynch in a Halloween one yeah. where he was Mario. What the hell was that? It was the list. So, yeah, it, you know, and just as I watch some of the up, up, down, downs. You know, uh, Which is a really good YouTube show. You need to watch yeah, it. Yeah, Xavier Woods. You're a wrestling it's fan. Austin Creed. Oh, but before, wait a minute, real quick. Hit subscribe. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. I can't believe it. It's because you keep rambling. Subscribe. And I forget you. Subscribe. Subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Ask, Tell your mother's friends yeah, to subscribe. Yeah. You know your auntie? Have her subscribe. That's Just, right. Yeah. Give us some. Get all give your us nieces some and up, nephews. Dude. Tell your kids to go to school and tell thumbs them up. about us. Like, I know there's like. gonna be a lot of kids that watch wrestling. Yeah. But all seriousness, before we head out. Yep. I want all of our thoughts and prayers are going to John Huber and his family. Absolutely. We want to wish everybody a very happy, safe, you did, fun New Year's. You did see where I I I did send a tweet out. On yeah. behalf of yeah. 321 Screw right. on AEW on their post right. no, uh, announcing the Brody Lee, I did send a tweet for out. Those, on of, that those of us who don't have Twitter, like myself, just shouting out there. Again. But those of you who do, look for us on yeah, Twitter. 321 Screw, we're also on Instagram and TikTok. So I think so it's time. Happy New Year. Stay safe. Don't do anything stupid like Bill would do. Well, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. So I, I think, think we're. And so yeah, and and, and 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 as he said, man, life is short, folks. So, if there's someone out there that 
that you're beefing with right now that you know that you don't want to be i'm sure be the bigger person reach out to them you know um let's 2020 is 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 in our rear view here let's let's start 2021 off 2021 now let's start 2021 off in the right direction that's right so so stay safe stay safe love one another (laughs) and look for us next next time we'll see you next year because next time you see us it will be 2021 on the three dozen in three two one. Screw. That's right. We're leaving, and we ain't coming back for a whole year. Not till next year. Yeah, next year. Next week. It's like nine.